okay now come towards today's lecture i gave you yesterday i yesterday i gave you the home gadget read unit number 3 now introduction to the topic as we all know there are many types of different types of animals in the world you can see the pictures of animals on your screen there are many animals like kangaroo giraffe elephant horse camel crocodile lion tiger cow dog the these all are animals now we have categorized them so first of all you can see on your screen pet animals the pet animals are cow cat bull pig rat sheep horse donkey dog chicken goat now there are many other pet animals you can see on your screen parrot fish rabbit hen other animals are wild animals the wild animals are squirrel squirrel monkey fox tiger tiger kangaroo these all are wild animals now the other these all are also wild animal birds there are many birds in the world like peacock uh pigeon crow sparrow uh ostrich dog these all parrot these all are birds now the next one is fishes there are also many types of fishes like starfish jellyfish blue whale shark horse fish dog fish there are many types of fishes the other thing is about insects obviously there are many types of insects in the world like ant bee beetle butterfly bug caterpillar cockroach grasshopper fly these all are animals now um why did i show you these all pictures because today we will learn about the thing that thing is related to this picture today we will learn about a worm now you all must know what is worm worms are invertebrates invertebrates mean they don't have backbone and may have long skinny body what are worms invertebrates what are invertebrate invertebrate means they don't have backbone may have long skinny body there are several different types of worms species in the world but most worms can be put into one of three categories number 1 flat worms that are flat number second round worms that are round and number third segmented worms they have segments so today we will learn about one of segmented worms that is earthworm what i have told you there are three types of worms flat worms that are flat round worms that are round and segmented worms which has segment in their body they have segmented body today we will learn about one of the segmented worm that is earthworms now first of all open your course book page number 32 course book page number 32 yes students can you hear me kindly answer me in chat now let's start reading i hope you all have open your books put your finger on your book and listen very carefully number first what are earthworms as i have told you worms are categorized into three one flat worm second round worm and third word is segmented worms and i have told you that earthworm is segmented worm you can see different segments in this picture in your book that there are many segments it's not round it's not flat but there are segments now put your fingers on your books and listen very carefully 
earth forms are found living in soil they are brown or red in color they can grow to they can grow to different lengths earthworms do not have bones arms or legs they also do not have ears nose or teeth earthworms cannot make any sound but they are able to see light and feel touch number second para earthworms live for a few years they have a way to regrow damaged body parts damage mean injured or harm such as their tail these little creatures creature mean living organism human we are also creature these are little creatures these little creatures are harmless harmless mean they don't hurt anyone and hurt no one however they are often eaten by birds or small animals Number second, where can we find earthworms? Yes, the earthworms are on the uh, on in the world. So where can we find earthworms? So look around the garden after it rains. Sometimes you can see tiny, tiny mean very small holes or little piles of dirt. These are where earthworms live. Some earthworms live near the top of the soil, but some live deeper below the ground. Now, next page, page number thirty-two. Next para, that is, why are earthworms useful? Like, what is the purpose of earthworms? Why do we need earthworms? So, earthworms may be small. They are small because they live in a tiny holes of dirt. but they can move dirt and dig tunnels in the ground they can even cause big rocks to shift through their digging the tunnels they dig allow rain and air to go into the ground this improves the soil and helps plants grow we in the last para we need earthworms to help our food grow we should try not to step on them or use them as a fish food earthworms may be small creature but they are very important now we are going to i have read the lesson now we are moving towards the explanation of this lesson so in a first paragraph what are the question is written over there that what are earthworms whenever you see this question what are earthworms before starting the topic i told you about worms but here the question is what are earthworms here yeah. we are talking about any specific worm and that is earthworm now what are earthworms you can see in this picture that there is a the soil and uh one worm over there worm over there so we can find they are means earthworms living in the soil we can, they are found living in the soil where do they live where where do they live where do they live they live in the soil okay the first line now the second line what about the color of earthworm can they be in every color green white black no they are just in two colors they can be found they can be found in two colors that colors are one is brown they can be found in brown color or uh, and red color which colors brown and red now first about where uh, where did do they live in a soil in a soil second color they are brown and red in color number third form about their growth growth what is the meaning of growth growth means become larger so 
you can see in this picture there are different types of worm this one is very long this one is short one and there are means they can be in a same size they are they can grow to different lengths for example one is of 5 cm other would be 7 6 cm now about body parts as we all have body parts i have hands legs nose eyes i have all the body parts but if i talk about the earthworms earthworms do not have bones as i have told you that they belong to invertebrates invertebrates mean they don't have backbone so earthworms uh, except backbone they don't have any bone so they don't have any bones they don't have any arm legs ear nose and teeth these all body parts earthworms don't have bones arms legs ear nose or teeth you can see in this picture in this picture that there isn't any leg arms nose teeth ear okay now abilities what are their abilities mean what can they do earthworms so earthworms can't make any noise they can't make any noise they cannot make any noise they can see and feel that mean if there is any light so they can see it very easily and feel touch if something touches from something for i mean they can feel a touch of anything number third they can grow their damaged body parts they have this ability that for example if uh, my leg is injured okay so can i regrow it no but earthworm can regrow their body parts danger what is uh, danger earthworms are eaten by birds or small animal means uh, if birds see anywhere earthworms so it goes and eat it and small animals so they are in danger if bird and small animals eat all the earthworms there would not be any earthworm on the earth next one is where can we find earthworms means we can find earthworms after rain they live in the tiny holes tiny mean very small they can be on the top of the soil and deeper below the ground means we can find earthworms top uh, upper side of the soil and deeper mean under the ground okay now next one is why are earthworms useful yes why are earthworms useful why uh, we should not uh, like birds and animals should not eat them why what is the reason behind it the reason is they dig tunnels in the ground what do they do they dig tunnels in the ground what is tunnel i will tell you in the words meaning they dig tunnels in the ground cause big rocks to shift through digging they the most important work of earthworm they dig tunnels in the ground that tunnels allow rain and air to go into the ground and it improves the soil and helps in plants grow as we all know that plants need air and water to grow and we find our food from the plants so this is a very important use of earthworms that it allows it allows rain and air to go into the ground improve the soil and helps in plants grow now the next one is in some important points about the earthworm earthworms are little harmless creature they don't harm anyone they don't hurt anyone they are small but they are very important why they are important because they help our food grow what does it mean food grow food grow in plants definitely plants we can find every get eat and everything from plants if i talk about fruits vegetables crops these all uh, medicines all comes from plants now at the end the last point is we should not try to step on them 
we should not use them as a fish food we should not try to step on them when people step on them so they are in danger from us also we should not use them as a fish food because they are very important they help our plants to grow they dig tunnels in the ground they dig tunnels in the ground now the um, before moving towards words meaning i just want to tell you about your copy work in your copy as i have told you you have to make two portion one for text and one for composition side in text side i will tell you today i will give you today the words meaning in text side first you will make a title page it unit number 3 unit name number 3 unit theme earth form then on next page write words meaning no first write a question first write caption words meaning then write a question write meaning of following words and then write a words meaning after writing that on the next page um write a caption of question answer and then write question answer over there now let's go towards words meaning words meaning first caption then question write meanings of following words what are the words and their meanings number first one word is found it is in the first para found found mean to search to search number second grow grow mean become larger we say that grow up we say this sentence that now you should grow up you should become like brave or grow up number third is damage number third is damage damage mean harm or injured harm or harm or injured number third one is number uh, fourth one is creature fourth one is creature 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 means living organism creature mean living organism creature mean living organism now the next one is harmless next one is harmless 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 mean not causing any harm they don't hurt anyone next tiny tiny means very small tunnels tunnels mean underground improve to make better improve now participant kindly take a screenshot kindly take a screenshot take a screenshot of words meaning and you have to write these words meaning in your english fair copy you have to write these words meaning in your words meaning yes mohammad abdul rahman and shiza khan the question is written on the screen above the words meaning you can see okay i hope you have taken the screenshot of words meaning now come towards the question answer what are the first caption of question answer then write on question write answers of given question the first question is what are earthworms the answer is earthworms are tiny creatures that live underground students kindly don't raise your hand right now if you have any query you can ask in chat okay question number 2 where can we find earthworms it is from the second 
question where can we find earthworms earthworms live in the soil where do they live they live in the soil some of them live near the top of the soil and some deeper below the ground question number 3 can earthworms regrow their body parts in the second para we learned that earthworms live for few years they have a way to regrow damaged body parts such as their tail so the question is can earthworms regrow their body parts first you will have to answer yes or no then put comma and then the earthworms can regrow their body parts such as their tail question number 4 question number 4 is earthworms are eaten by whom earthworms are eaten by whom earthworms are eaten by whom so earthworms are eaten by birds or small animals then a student keep one thing in your mind that oh, don't forget to put question mark at the end of question and full stop at the end of answer question number 5 is are earthworms able to see and feel now this question is from the third para that are earthworms able to see and feel so again this is a this is a confirm uh, this is a question so you will have to write the answer with yes or no first write yes or no then write put comma then the whole question will be written over there are earthworms able to see and feel yes earthworms are able to see light and feel touch see light and feel touch question number 6 how long does earthworm live how long does earthworm and how long do earthworm live how long do earthworm live earthworms live for few years they don't live for many uh, means uh, for a long time for many years they live only for a few years now question number 7 question number 7 why are earthworms useful answer is as i have told you that they dig tunnels in the ground the tunnels the digging or the digs they they dig tunnels in the ground that dig allow rain and air to go into the ground allow rain and air to go into the ground and it improves the soil and also helps in plant growth so why are earthworms useful earthworms dig tunnels in the ground which allows rain and air in, to go into the ground this improves the soil and helps in plants grow these these are question answer now the next is your home task home task is page number 33 of your course book you have to complete this activity in your course book by using pencil okay page number which page page number 33 of your course book and page number 34 now come towards the explanation in explanation first why are earthworms oh, what are earthworms they live in the soil first number second they are brown and red in color number third important point they can grow to different lengths means all earthworms are not in the same size they, some earth if one earthworm is from uh, 5 cm so other would be 7 cm or 8 cm they can grow to different lengths okay they can't be in the same size number next body parts i have we all have many body parts but if i talk about earthworms they don't have bones as in the start i told you that they belongs to invertebrates what are invertebrates invertebrates are animals which don't have backbone what are invertebrates without backbone so if i talk about earthworms they don't have many body parts such as bones 
arms, legs, ear, nose, or teeth. Now abilities can't make any noise, can see and feel touch, can regrow their body parts. Now as I have told you about the home task, your home task is page number 33 and page number 34 of your course book. You have to do page number 33 and page number 34 of your course book. As you can see this on your screen and how to do with pencil. Okay, now our today's topic was all about the earthworm and it is now completed now i am again telling you about your home task first you have to write a words meaning first write a caption of words meaning then question then words meaning and on the next page caption of question answer then question right answer the following question then question answer one by one write question with blue color and answer with Pencil and do okay. So, this is your home task.